Hey guys, my name is Elena, I'm a graphic designer and welcome to my graphic design channel and today I'm going to show you how you can take that flat illustration and create this 3D watermelon. And I invite you to my Telegram or Instagram if you want to see what flyer I created with help of that watermelon. And now let's draw 3D watermelon in Adobe Illustrator. Now you see the size of my workspace. And these are colors which I'm going to use in my tutorial. And if you want to take a closer look at the design and to download an original vector file with colors and my design, you can do it on my Patreon page. The link will be below this tutorial. And if you're a beginner graphic designer who wants to start sell the designs online, for example, on Adobe Stock or Shutterstock, then I invite you to see my ebook 50 Easy Ideas. More about my book you can find in the link below this tutorial. And now let's start to draw. Well, guys, my workspace is ready and colors are already in the swatches panel. Let's take red color and polygon tool and create polygon with three sides. OK. Now let's make it a little bigger and wider, like this. OK. Now let's take direct selection tool, select that corner, hold and drag to round the corner. Now select both corners here and the same you need to round corners. OK, now go to Effect, Bob, now Arc Lover and here 15%. OK, Object, Expand Appearance. Now let's take uh, green color and mm, Ellipse Tool. and create ellipse, for example, like that. OK, like this, align and copy and paste the watermelon and select the shape and the copy of watermelon and go to Pathfinder minus front uh, and ungroup, delete that part and again select the green color. Uh, now uh, we need to take again ellipse tool, no matter what color now, put here like that. Now copy and paste watermelon and select that shape and go to Pathfinder minus front, take light orange color and send the new shape and watermelon to back. Now uh, select the light orange part, copy and paste it and select the copy and the watermelon and now go to Pathfinder minus front. OK. And we have here that shape and here we have unwanted parts. So we need to delete, ungroup uh, the watermelon and delete unwanted parts. Now it's great. Uh, and now let's take black color and ellipse tool and let's create watermelon seeds. OK, let's take dark selection tool, move that point a little up and go to effect, distort and transform, free distort and move that point here and that one here. OK object expand appearance now move make that seat a little smaller move here make copies of the seat like that okay it's great you can move it a little or stay it like that 
Okay guys, uh, the main shapes are ready. Now let's select the, at first the seeds and group them and move them here for now. Select the watermelon and group it, it's very important. And go to window, 3D and materials, that options uh, that option only in the last version of Adobe Illustrator. And now guys, you need to go with me step by step uh, in options. Uh, there is no one rule to create 3D uh, with the same options, for example. So you need every time to play with options till you'd like the result of your 3D icon or 3D character. Uh, so now you need to go with me step by step to create that watermelon 3D icon. Okay guys, watermelon is ready, now let's take seeds and the same step by step with me, you need to go to 3D and materials and add options as I am. Well guys, the watermelon is ready, let's close the 3D and materials and let's create background and clouds. At first let's take uh, any color, for example that one and uh, rectangle tool, create the rectangle like that and send to back. Now let's take liner gradient here 90 degrees and now here we need to take dark blue color in that point and light blue color in this point. Let's move little points like that. Now let's take gradient tool and move gradient a little down like that. Okay. Now let's take white color and ellipse tool and create clouds with help of just ellipses. Like this, create different uh, ellipses of different sizes, like this. Okay, and now you can move them, you can play with sizes if you like. So now let's select all clouds and go to Pathfinder Unite. and make it a little bigger or smaller, so as you like. Now hold out and make the copy. And clouds are ready. Now let's select the whole composition. Let's move it here. And let's move gradient a little down like this. And that's all guys. Our 3D watermelon 
is ready and hope you like my tutorial if yes give me a like and subscribe and see you in the next tutorials in adobe illustrator or in the next videos about the graphic design bye bye guys Mwah. bye